In this video, we are going to discuss about how we can manage the courses and categories in Moodle. So, for that, we need to go to first site administration and then uh, courses. And uh, we can see that in the previous video, we have discussed about the course default setting. And uh, now we are going to just see how we can manage the courses and categories in Moodle. So, for that, uh, just click on manage courses and categories and uh, it will open the window where uh, you will find the two options first one is the course category and the uh, right side you will find uh, about creating the new course so first we are supposed to create here new courses so we'll see already there is one category uh, with the name miscellaneous and uh, now we have to create one category first and then we'll proceed uh, for creating the new course so I click on click new category here and uh, when I click on new category it will ask me uh, to choose the parent category so there will be two options whether uh, you want to choose uh, your category to dis be on the top or uh, uh, you want to use miscellaneous under miscellaneous category so okay let me choose the top and uh, I will choose category name like uh, uh, virtual workshop this is my category so I choose here and ID I am leaving because it is used for advanced uh, model so we'll when we start the advanced model we'll be discussing so I give the description virtual workshop on Moodle and accordingly I'll enter detail and if you want uh, any photo or any image to add here so you can add using these option as I already mentioned that Moodle uses the auto editor and so it has uh, something different features than other editor like tiny MC or any other and after that I click on create category so you will notice that it will create one category and it will uh, be visible below the miscellaneous category and now we'll see what else we can do here you can see there are three buttons I which can also if you click on this it will hide this category the second uh, if you just click on this so it will take your category created category just above the another one and the third one is that where you can do all these uh, available option so first that uh, if you click on edit if you want to make any changes in the created category so you can edit with this edit option and if you want to create any new subcategory so you can click and it will again open uh, another window similar to the category and now you can see that your uh, category is visible here and uh, you can give your category name like Moodle and uh, here category ID I'm leaving so Moodle works up I write here so this will help me uh, to create subcategory uh, if I go in this way and now this is create category so this will become the subcategory under now you can notice that uh, this Moodle is the part of this virtual workshop and uh, here now you can uh, either delete it or you can edit it again you can create subcategory or you can assign the role just click on assign role option so you can choose who will be the manager or course creator for this particular under this category so I click on course creator and uh, it will ask me to choose so by default uh, this one user from system DP party so let me take uh, this one so this one has been added to course creator in category Mod Moodle and uh, okay let us go back again I'll go to site administrator then courses and uh, manage courses and category and now 
I was just I added one uh, uh, means role I assigned one role to this particular category and next option is the permission permission can be you can see that uh, this particular uh, category um, has may have the different permission so likewise role with permission manager role is managing the categories and uh, similarly there are other options of block or category cohort external database so each one has the different role with permission if you want anyone to prohibit so you can just click on this or if you want anything to add so you can click on the plus button so it will allow so this is up to you that what category by default it is taken care by the Moodle but uh, apart from this also if, if you want to uh, create any uh, role or if you want to assign uh, permission to any role so you can uh, do it from here so let's go back and see other options available in this then we can create the cohort uh, cohort we did not discuss previously uh, because of this region so now I am going to show you that uh, how we can create the cohort as well I already discussed that cohort is the uh, uh, list of users who are available in the courses and categories so this model is the category subcategory under uh, uh, this um, um, uh, course option and now I am going to click on add new cohort and here it will ask me the cohort name so I give here cohort 1 1 and uh, you can see automatically it has first virtual workshop and in that Moodle is the subcategory so you can give the description here cohort 1 1 cohort 1 1 you can describe it uh, in detail this is simply uh, to explain I am just leaving and giving the minimum information and finally click on save changes so you will notice that one cohort is created and accordingly there are other options uh, you can hide it also you can delete it also or you if you want you can edit it also if you find any changes to be made later on so you can edit it also using the edit button or you can assign suppose you want to assign um, this cohort number of users so I just add these users to this cohort you see so the two members of cohort 11 so similarly you can add number of users to this cohort I have already added now so let's go back and uh, see the other option available when we do it practically we will uh, be able to understand more in detail I hope if I click on site administration and the courses manage courses and categories so in that particular model category we have added the cohort and uh, we can add the filter also you see here by default in filter setting in category model by default it is on so if you want to make changes here so you can do as per your choice it is up to you that how you are going to use the filter in this particular category so I will not make any changes here I'll again go back to this and uh, you can restore courses so so far we have done the course category we have created and added the cohort and then we have made some changes now let's see we can create one uh, course here we can um, add the, the course in this category so I click on create new course and uh, when I choose the course name so I just give here Moodle workshop on Moodle I give here course short name I can give WM this is compulsory field so I cannot leave it and you can course category you can choose I choose this one virtual workshop Moodle course visibility I set it to so 
and uh, my course is start on for example 4th of april and uh, in the midnight and it goes up to i i just it is calculating the in date because we have set the number of days in the category 365 that's why it is taking 3rd of may 20 uh, means as per uh, the setting we have done in other uh, category place so i choose it uh, 5th of april and 2020 and this will get over for example 18 pm so this is my setting and i enable it then course id number i am leaving and you can describe this course will enable the participant to learn about Moodle. Ah, the following agenda. will be discussed during the workshop. You can describe the description of the course summary and uh, then you can add the course image accordingly. For example, I take this mm. okay, I take this And then what will be the course format? So as we discussed that there are four formats. So we are taking it here weekly. Number of section will be four or how many section you want. You can um, set accordingly. Hidden section. Hidden section are shown in collapse form as I, I already discussed. So we are not going to change here. We are not going to make it in, in, in uh, visible. What will be the course layout? So on one page or per page. So I am just giving one page. Then we have to choose the appearance. Number of announcement will be maximum 5. If you want to increase or decrease, you can set here. You can forcefully language if you want any other language to be used. So you can use. Otherwise, by default, it will be English. So grade book to student. So it is up to you whether you want the student to see or not. And similarly, the activity report, it is up to you whether you want the student to see or not. Then files and uploads, maximum size for file uploading of the file will be 32 MB. Completion tracking, yes, enable completion tracking. So here, uh, completion tracking will be uh, in force and uh, accordingly it will be taken care. The groups, I am leaving it uh, to no default setting. And role renaming, suppose you want for example course creator you want to write author or uh, um, convener or something else teacher content developer or manager learning resource manager or something like that if you feel that the uh, the particular the role which is being taken care by the Moodle should be changed to something new so you have option you can change in place of these uh, role you can define your own role and uh, you can uh, give the tag like Moodle, then online learning management system. So these are all uh, the setting we have done. And finally, we are ready to go. Just save and return. So we have successfully created one course and one category. Now let's go and see that how does it look. You can see now workshop on Moodle. So the best part uh, is that uh, here also you get the option. You can still uh, want if you want any change to be made, you can edit it, or if you want, you can delete it, or you want uh, to hide it, so you can hide it also. So let's go and uh, see. For example, I go to dashboard. It may not be visible on the dashboard, but uh, site home because uh, no user has enrolled so far, so it may not be visible. Now you can see that uh, available courses workshop on Moodle is visible here. So this is how we can uh, create the category and course in Moodle. In the 
next video we are going to uh, see that how other options uh, can be taken care in course like uh, how we can uh, enroll the students or uh, the users in that particular course and uh, how the course request can be uh, given upload courses uh, by file or pending request can be taken care all these we will see in the next video so thank you very much uh, for watching this video hope this will help you to learn about how to create course and category